Yo, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup, and we are starting to see a lot of big announcements start to come out as we get closer to the Microsoft Business Application Summit. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dig in. Seth Bowers got a short tutorial for you on how you can center the X axis on a line chart. This is actually a pretty interesting thing and you may have run into this yourself and they've got a video that will walk you through what this is. So if this is something you struggled with, he's gonna give you, he's gonna show you how to do this and he's also gonna give you the DAX expressions that he used to actually make this happen. So if this is something you're interested in, be sure to check out this video and blog post, links down below. Sam McKay over at Enterprise DNA has a blog post on the community site talking about what if and Power BI. And really he's going through and talking about not only getting started with what if, but also just different what if scenarios and why they're so important to your business. This is more about digging deeper into your data and realizing that, okay, I've got my data right now. This is what my reports look like, but what would happen if maybe my sales increased another 10% or what would happen if, you know, my margins slipped by this much. And those are things that you can consider when using what if and the what if capabilities inside a Power BI desktop, and you can use that today. But take a look at this blog post. There's a couple videos there that may get you centered in on the whole what if. Matt Allington's got a blog post wishing Power Query a happy birthday. And today we all know that Power Query is part of Power BI, but it came out before Power BI came out. Matt reached out to Miguel Lopez, who's one of the PMs on the data integration team, which owns the Power Query engine, as well as the gateways. And Miguel mentioned that Power Query first came out in July, 2013, and this was an Excel add-in. It was originally called Data Explorer, and then it was melded into Power BI Designer before that was called Power BI Desktop. A lot of history there. Be sure to check out this blog post just for some fun facts around Power Query. And Matt also brought up Power Pivot because that was out even longer before Power Query. And I checked Power Pivot came out along the time frame of SQL Server 2008 R2. So this would have been around the May 2010-ish time frame. Matt called out April of 2010. It's right around that time frame. Microsoft Business Application Summit is right around the corner here. It's coming up next week. And the Tuesday of next week is July 24th which happens to be Power BI's third birthday. So I don't know if they're gonna make a birthday kind of celebration or notification at the Business Application Summit. I hope they do. But if they don't, maybe some of us could just get together and maybe just lift a glass up to Power BI on Tuesday. You can find the link to this blog post and all the blog posts I've talked about, along with some bonus items down in the description below. We got the June feature summary for both the Power BI service, gateway, and mobile. This update had a few things that were interesting. First off is the fact that we can share reports now with slicers and filter information. So that means when I share a report with a user, whatever filters and slicers I had selected, they're gonna see that selection as well, which is very cool. We also had an update earlier in June talking about the changes to configuring data sets and gateways inside of the service. It made it a little more streamlined and a little easier to actually set up and understand. So be sure to check that out. There were a few other items, so be sure to check out the link down below to see everything that came out for the service gateway and mobile device. Arun from the Power BI team had a blog post last week where he talked about how Power BI is expanding self-service data prep and also how modern and enterprise BI are coming together. This was actually a really big update and a lot of news. If you're not familiar with who Arun is, Arun is basically the guy running Power BI. So he reports up to James Phillips, who's the VP for Business Applications Group, and everything for Power BI kind of falls on Arun's lap. So this is who you wanna to listen to on this type of stuff. He goes through and mentions some of the things that we're doing for self-service data prep with inside of Power BI. These are things you're gonna see come to the Power BI service. And also the fact that we're expanding that even to include Azure services. So getting Power BI to be usable across different services itself. 
that's really exciting when we think about data and moving data around and all of those items. So it's, it's something definitely to keep your eye on. And this is all gonna come down to the common data model. And you may have heard of that before. We'll make sure to have videos on this channel talking about that as we go forward and these features roll out so that you can understand what those are. Another big item talked about in this blog post is the fact that XMLA endpoints are coming to Power BI. This is, this is huge. So this means that you'll actually be able to work with Power BI like you do analysis services. So you think about that for a second. If I can connect with XMLA, that means I can have a connection string to Power BI, which means I can use SQL Server data tools, I can use SSIS against it, I can do all sorts of things with however my normal enterprise data structure and lifecycle management happened, I can now hook Power BI into that, and that is massive. Another nugget that Arun dropped in this blog post is the fact that enterprise reporting is coming to Power BI. So this is the paginated reports that we had from reporting services, it's coming to Power BI, and I expect to hear more about that at the Microsoft Business Application Summit. Be sure to check out this blog post. I've got a link down in the description below. If you haven't read it, I really recommend that you do because there is a lot of great information in this blog, and it also sets the tone of the direction of where Power BI is going for the next year and beyond. My favorite item this last week has to be the Happy Birthday Power Query. I, I just love looking back on the technologies I've been working on for years and just kind of pausing a little bit and reflecting on how it started, where we've come and where we're going. So I really enjoy that. And I'm looking forward to next week with Power BI's birthday. But I wanna hand this off to you. What do you guys think? What was your favorite item this week? Or was there something that I didn't include that you thought was awesome? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let me know. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.